Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles. I'm back to the Sudoku Tudes series of puzzles where I'm exploring the mix of, or well, exploring mixing stingle constraints with a lot more classic Sudoku techniques. Um, this is just my exploration, and I'm bringing you along on the journey. Join me or not. This is Mud Muddle by Bremster, um, and this is my exploration of doing this with the cages constraint, sometimes called the killer cages constraint. Um, not really a lot to get into. Hopefully you understand what I'm doing by now. So let's just get straight into the puzzle. So we've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then we've got cages. Digits in cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. So these three cells will sum to seven. These three cells will sum to 12. These three cells will sum to 20. They're the rules. I'm gonna restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So we can start with this seven cage. Um, what are the minimum digits that we can put into this considering a three is not available? The minimum digits we can put in are one, two, and four, and one, two, and four sum to seven. So these must be one, two, and four. Um, by Sudoku, we can't put a seven in any of these cells. So seven is looking down here. Um, so that's going to be a thing. Um, what else can we see? A tin cage here. Um, can we tell what that's going to be? Well, there's no eight in this 21 cage, so we must put a nine in this 21 cage, because if we didn't put a nine in this, the maximum would be seven, six, and five, which is only 18. So there must be a nine in this 21 cage. And then we need two digits apart from that that sum to 21 minus nine, which is 12. Yes, 12. And to do 12, we can't use a second nine and we can't use an eight. So we could use seven, five. It has to be seven, five. This has to be five, seven, nine, because it's the only way to do 21 because we can't use six, six, nine. So this is five, seven, nine. There's no five there or there. This is the five and this is a seven, nine pair. That's cool. Now, can I put seven in a 10 cage? I could do one, two, seven. So seven is in one of those. A nine cage with no three in it. Because how do you do nine? I think this is forced. If I don't use, because I haven't looked at this puzzle in ages. I know it's by me, but I've set literally like 50 puzzles since I last looked at this. So I don't remember the details. If I don't use a three, I could use one, two, six. I can't use one, three, five. I can't use two, three, four. This must be one, two, and six. A 20 cage with no seven or five. If I don't use nine, the maximum I could use would be eight, six, four. If I don't use a nine, I get to eight, six, four. An eight, six, four doesn't get me there. It's only 18. So there must be a nine in here. And then I need two digits that sum to 11. I could use eight, three. I can't use seven, four. I can't use six, five. So it must be three, eight, nine. Actually, this is, I'm enjoying this. There's no eight here. There's no six here. I wonder if all of these cages are similarly forced. The answer is possibly. Like I can't use one, three, five in this cage. So how do I do a 10 cage? It's not one, three, five, it's one, four, five. How do I do a 10 cage? If I don't use a one in a 10 cage, the only option is two, three, five, because the minimum would be two, three, four. I'd have to increase one of those by one, and I couldn't increase the two or the three without causing a duplicate. So it'd have to be two, three, five, and I can't do that. So there must be a one in this 10 cage and then two digits that sum to nine. Now I can't use one, eight. I could use two, seven. I could use three, six. No, I can't use three, six. So this is one, two, seven because I can't use one, three, six, and I can't use one, four, five, and I can't use one, one, eight. So that's, this is one, two, seven. So there's one and two in here, and there's one and two in here. So this is a one, two pair. Where's three in this column? I can't put three in any of those cells. I can't put three in either of those or there. This is a three. 
that's cool. We're six in this column. I can't put six in any of those. I can't put six in any of those. That's a six. One, two. This is a one, two, four, seven quadruple. And the four must be up there. So there's no four there. And the seven must be down here. So there's no seven here. This is a one, two pair. But seven must be in here. Four must be in here. These are the these are the classic Sudoku tricks that I'm wanting to use more in these, which means that's the nine and that's the seven. And this is the one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the eight that hasn't been used in the row. So this is a triple now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, seven, and nine. Now there's no seven here because of the seven in here. And there must be a five in one of those two because there's no five in those or in those and that five says not there. That's a five. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is definitely... Six is not in any of those or those. Six is in one of those two. This is a triple. One, four, six. There's no one there. There's no six there or there. There's no six here either. So this is the six. This is a one, four pair. Okay. So one, two, there must be a three in one of those two. These are three, four, nine, because one, two, because it's, these are all locked. So these are three, four, nine, and there's no four in them. So that's now the four, taking four out of those. So one, two, three, this must be the four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a four. That's a three, nine pair, interestingly. The seven actually takes seven out of there. That's the seven. So this is the one, two, six. And the one, two means that's the six. This is not the six. This is the six. This is a three, eight, nine. So one, two, three, this is the four. Right. I, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm happy with this puzzle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is a five, seven. So this is known. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the nine. I'm very happy with this puzzle. I'm going to be very interesting to see what the comments are on this series. Okay, so what comes next? It's going to be these cages. But what do I want to look at for these cages? These are the sort of cages that I normally struggle with, which is probably why I put them into the puzzle, because I want to, I'm, I'm pushing myself. Six is in one of those two by Sudoku. Ah, eight. I can't put eight in any of those or any of those. There is an eight in this 15 cage with two digits that sum to seven. Now, I can't use one six. I could use two five. I can't use three four. It must be two five eight. So this is a two five eight cage. There's no five here. But that means that these two and five in this row must now be in those cells. And now two can't be in those or those. So two is down here. Now these, well, the four in this box, well, I know what these are. These are one and four, which means the one in this column must be down here. Oh, that six is saying that's not the six. This is a six. And these digits must sum to 12 because 18 minus six. So they could be three, nine. They can't be eight, four. They can't be seven, five. They can't be six, six. So these are three and nine. And the nine makes that the three and that the nine. Yeah, this, 
I'm happy with this puzzle. I'm very happy with this puzzle. Five is in one of those two by Sudoku. Is there anything else being forced into that? Possibly. It might be Z's that's forced. But this, no, this is five, nine. Where's nine in this row? This is a five, nine pair. So this is a pair, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the seven makes that the four and that the seven. Looking up, making that the one and that the four. Looking down, making that the two and that the one, which makes that the eight. And there's no eight in those. There's no eight here. That's a three, nine. So that's the eight. The nine looks up, making that the three, that the nine. The three looks across, making that the nine and that the three. These are one and two. Now this is got to be close to forced, but I want to force a digit into the cage before and then do did. What I like with three cell cages is normally to force a digit into the cage and then do Sudoku on the remaining two digits. And I can see from this seven and this seven that there is a seven in the cage and then two digits that sum to seven. Now I can't use one six, I can't use two five, so this is three, four, seven. There's no three here, there's no seven here. So this is the seven, this is the three, four, making this the one and this the four. That looks across making that the two and that the one, which means this isn't the two, this is the two. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, this is the eight. This is now a pair. Well, I need to put one, two, three, four, five, six, and nine, and that's the six and that's the nine. There's no six here, and now I know the makeup of this cage without even doing the math. One, three, eight, and one, three, eight sums to 12, so that's worked. There's no eight in any of those, that's the eight. The one, three means that's the two, that's the four, that's the one. The two looks back making that the five and that the two. The five looks back making that the seven and that the five. Um, these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. I'll use that seven to make that the nine and that the seven. Uh, now the seven looks up making that the nine and that the seven. The nine looks down making that the five and that the nine. The five looks up making that the two and that the five. The two looks down making that the one, that the two, which looks across making that the one and that the two. The four looks down making that the three and that the four. And the three looks up making that the one and that the three. And that is the solution to muddle by me, by Bremster. Yeah, I'm actually really happy with that puzzle. And I hope you enjoyed it too. Um, again, it, uh, yeah, it just seemed to be this was putting in these diagonal cages and then putting in the digits on the diagonals opposite the cages. It's the sort of pattern that I've been playing with with many of these puzzles in order to sort of force the cages in a, enough of a way that the Sudoku was interesting um, as well as the deductions in the cages being interesting. I, I like that one. That was good. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. I'm definitely enjoying re-exploring these puzzles. Um, yeah. And as always, good luck with your solving.